morning, beautiful people. It is about 9.30 and we are here at Disney's Hollywood Studios because we are trying to get a boarding pass at 10. And uh, we're gonna see if all the tips and tricks that the people say work. So let's go in. Okay, so we've come down Sunset Boulevard, almost to Hollywood uh, Tower of Terror, and uh, I have my phone charging. And those I'm in the park, I have un like I have closed up the app completely and opened it back up to make sure. And uh, we came in here. It's a Saturday, and it is not. It looks. It feels normal almost. And uh, there's a lot of people in here for it being limited capacity. So I just find that pretty interesting. So it's currently 9:48. Um, and we are trying to get a boarding group at 10, so we are going to see what that looks like. But everyone's going towards Tower of Terror, or they went to uh, probably Slinky Dog, Smuggler's Run, uh, Rock and Roller Coaster, just a lot of other big ticket items here. We we're just waiting, found a shady spot, and uh, just enjoying Hollywood Studios for the moment. The longest line when we got in here was to Starbucks, which I'm really glad I don't need coffee to function because that would be annoying to wait in a line. <laughs> Uh, like that all the time but so we have 12 minutes until we can get one and I'm going to uh, screen record it so you guys can see what that looks like. Hopefully we get a good boarding group. We also have a dining reservation uh, for 50's Primetime Cafe at 11 which will be a separate video and uh, but I hope that they just don't, I just don't want them to overlap. That's my main concern. Um, I'm sure we can work something out if we do but also I have my child mask on and my clan of two, kids come with me, shirt on. I got the shirt at heroesandvillains.com. I'll put a link in the description down below to it. Um, it was, it got here super quick. And I got this mask off of Etsy from a lovely shop. And uh, that's my Hollywood Studios OOTD. I'm, I'm cool now, right? You can't see my face, but I'm cringing. Okay, I'll see you in 11 minutes to see what happens. So some tips are go to time.is, it gives you the exact time, and then you're going to open the Disney uh, Walt Disney World app, you're going to go to the bottom right hand corner, to the uh, three lines, you're going to go to virtual queues, and it's going to say join virtual queue, and at 10 o'clock, at 9.59.59, you're going to click that button and join a boarding group. So, we're going to see if this works. Yeah. I got it. Which one? We got one. It's not a backup group, but we'll take it. So when you get your boarding group, make sure to take a screenshot of it uh, just for just in, just in case. So we're uh, group 44, which it tells you an estimated return time now, which is nice. Um, and they start actually boarding. Um, they'll give you a status update here. It'll say boarding groups one through five, one through ten, whatever. And then um, they'll just go until they can't go anymore. And they'll also open the boarding group back up, but open at two if they can. And um, there's not a guarantee if you'll get one at two, but there's not a guarantee if you'll get one at 10. But we're 44, it's estimated return time, 225 minutes. So we're gonna go um, hopefully ride some things and then we're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go from there. So let's do it. When you're here, just make sure to say hello to Gertie and ask her how she is. Hi, Gertie. <laughs> Place. They have a line which is socially distant and they are um, just taking one family per stall, like per merchandise stall. So you aren't really overcrowded once you get into the market, which is very unusual because if you've ever been in this area, it is packed all the time and so crowded. And you can't really see everything. So this is nice that, uh, you know, 
they're doing it this way. So we're in line for Smuggler's Run and they are doing only one party per pod. So it'll just be me and mom in the pod uh, piloting. Or you could be a gunner, I guess, if you want. Or you could be an engineer. But they're doing one party per pod, which is why the wait time is so long. But um, it's 70 minutes and we've probably been here for about 10. So, but I'm just admiring the gorgeousness and the detail that is Galaxy's Edge. Find the Falcon! Right, pilot, push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left. Move no. your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say oh that. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly up. To fly down. Again, they were doing one family per pod, so it was very much, um, you, you could pretty much do whatever you wanted um, and do bad and not have other people rely on you, which is kind of cool, but we are in Toy Story Land now, if you can tell. We're going to head to Toy Story Mania because it's a uh, post and wait time of 20 minutes, so why not do it? So, let's go. Hey, Mr. Potato Head, but you, you can call me Mr. Potato Head. So uh, we're gonna head to Mickey and Minnie and just wait the 90 minutes that it's posted. Um, hopefully it's less than that, but we're just gonna go ahead and do that because they're still calling boarding groups for Rise of the Resistance and it's three o'clock and they're only on 14 because it shut down earlier in the day. So hopefully we can still ride that. So we're just gonna kill time and go to Mickey and Minnie. Why not? So they're not doing the pre-show, so you just walk straight through. Thanks to Goofy having a blast and then watching the cartoon, you better come into it. And we get to go straight into the cartoon. Geronimuk Park Trains. Okay. We have the plexiglass in here between things so you don't have to weave. Durante nuestro viaje train. There's Goofy, employee of the month. One party per car, there's four cars to um, a train. So we just got off Mickey and Minnie, and again, fantastic ride. Every time you sit somewhere else, you get a different view of what's happening. You get a different version of the ride. So just make sure to not always request a seat. You can't really request seats right now anyway, but once everything goes back to normal, if you wanted to request a seat, don't. Um, just let your seat assign your version of the ride. So make sure to do that. I'm gonna grab my first ever popcorn bucket because I've never really been a fan of the popcorn bucket, but they have one here in Hollywood Studios that I wanna check out. And then we're gonna check and see where the boarding groups are at because we're still waiting to go from there. But uh, I'm gonna grab it and we'll see. I'm sitting here, I'm just uh, in front of Mickey and Minnie's Runway Wayaway to have some popcorn, have a drink, take my mask off. And uh, I just got this notification on my phone. What? I think if it didn't shut down for those three hours, we wouldn't totally find. They probably would have gotten up to group like 70, uh, 75. But it just isn't happening. So we've written it before, totally fine. We'll try again next time. Um, but again, boarding groups are not guaranteed due to the shutdown of the ride sometimes. 
due to everything. So just be aware of that. Don't bank on that happening. If you're here for one day, I mean, obviously try your best and go from there, but don't, just don't have any expectations, I guess, coming into it because it's impossible to uh, guarantee anything. And it's down a lot. And it's down a lot. In here and in Disneyland, apparently, as my friend Laura told me, because she used to be a cast member there, and she's all the, she's friends that still work there and it happens all the time, and they go all the time when it's open. But we're actually just gonna, we rode Mickey Mini, it's still fantastic. We're gonna go back to the room. I'm going to grab some merch from the Caribbean Beach Old Port Royale um, lobby shop thing. And then we are going to kind of maybe pack a little because we do leave tomorrow. And uh, then we're gonna go to Disney Springs, grab some little gifts here and there and go from there. But I'm gonna finish up my little popcorn. I will show you guys the popcorn bucket that I got in the hall. And uh, we're gonna do that. But that does it for here, us here at Hollywood Studios. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And turn on that bell notification so you get notified every single time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, be a beautiful human. Bye. Want to subscribe? Click or tap right here. Want more from this adventure? Click or tap right here. Want more from Hollywood Studios? Click or tap right here.